Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's back up a bit. So, this place is Planet Elhorn, or more specifically, the Kingdom of Zebulos on Planet Elhorn. A variety of different creatures inhabit this planet, but Zebulos is primarily occupied by opossums. A long time ago, someone by the name of El Zebulos fought a group of invaders who sailed in a ship called the Pig Star. He would win the battle and become Zebulos' ruler, and the Pig Star was placed under a magical seal. The so-called Key to the Seal was guarded by him and his royal family. The Zebulon family has guarded the Pig Star for generations. Since it has the power to destroy worlds, the kingdom is often made a target. To say the least, they needed a secret weapon. Enter the Rocket Knights. These elite warriors use rocket packs, magical swords, and their superb fighting skills to defend Zebulos. The leader of them is known as Sparkster. He became the leader due to some rather... unfortunate circumstances thanks to a traitorous Rocket Knight by the name of Axel Gear. Cut to the present, and Zebulos has once again come under attack, this time by the nearby Devatindos Empire. Things aren't going well for them. At the current rate, the entire kingdom may be demolished. Sparkster, feeling the presence of Axel Gear behind the attack, begins to head towards Castle Zebulon. And thus, the tale of Sparkster begins. You probably never could have expected that we that you would have seen the Sega logo come up in a Let's Play of mine. But, well, here it is! This is going to be my next Let's Play. This is Rocket Knight Adventures, a game that Konami made back in 1993. Sega Genesis, pretty much one of the only Sega Genesis games I really give a crap about. And, um, I mentioned I have a lot of love for this game. Uh, I have it up on here, by the way, because uh, the demo mode goes up pretty quickly. But, uh, yeah, I have a lot of love for this game. It's actually, like, one of my favorite plat- It's basically my favorite platformer. It's, like, one of my favorite games of all time. I- I'm, I only- I discovered, like, only, like, maybe about two years ago, and I, like, immediately fell in love with it. And I ended up learning a lot about- about this series, I played all the games, and I just found that it was a series that I was gonna have a lot. I had a lot of. I I, I love this series, even if uh, some of the sequel stuff is a bit uh, unfortunate. But uh, I actually going to be doing something a little interesting for uh, this series. Now this is a very short game. In fact, I'm gonna be recording all of this in one go. But here's the thing. For between episodes, like probably at the beginning of them, uh, at the end of each episode, I'm going to be talking about something different with, like, with each one. You may have already seen that, d depending on what I've, depending on what I've uh, chosen to do involving this episode. But um, yeah, at the beginning of each episode, I'm probably going to talk about a different topic of stuff, uh, interesting stuff like involving this game or the series. Whether it, whether it be, whether it be, um, like, backstory or just random little things that, uh, I stumbled across and I thought were neat. But, uh, got, I got a lot to talk about, and we'll, and we will be seeing that here today. Uh, now, uh, as far as, uh, difficulty is concerned, I, uh, difficulty things are confusing, like, between versions. I, I have easy and hard, and I'm, uh, as I know, um, you don't don't play on the lowest difficulty if you want to uh, actually get the ending. Uh, it's it's one of them old games, you know. So it's, it's got that quirk where you, if you play on the lowest difficulty, you don't get the you don't get to do finish you know, do like the proper final act, which is kind of shitty. But uh, so yeah, I'll I'll be playing on hard because I'm actually kind of competent at this game. But uh, I'm gonna try and jump right into this. So. Let's start. Mm -hmm. 
jumping right into this and you immediately see the background that shit's going down I I'll be talking about I'll be talking about a lot of I'll be talking about a lot of this but first things first uh, as shit's gonna start jumping out here um uh, yeah this little guy <laughs> that this little guy we're playing as uh this is Sparkster he is an opossum yeah you don't you don't see that too often but not only is he a opossum but he's an opossum knight with a jetpack now, if that's not awesome, then there's no such thing. So, I mean, he has, I mean, obviously he has the sword, and it's got beams and shit, because magic. But, again, like, the really cool thing is, like, is the jetpack. And, you can go in, you, you can go diagonally, you can go up or down, or... Huh, I can do this. <laughs> and, you can also do this. Oh, right, and of course, being an opossum, you can... I can use his tail to, uh, you know, like, like, like get on like, trees and stuff like that. Just, like, some quick stuff there. But things are gonna get very interesting here very quickly, as you can see. Alright, we've already got fucking, like, vehicles and shit. There we go. Now, I actually am decent at this game, but uh, I, I can get flustered easily. I make mistakes easily, as you can see. That's a good start. <laughs> I, I can make mistakes easily. I think I, I'm either really I'm, I'm either really good or really bad. I don't have an in between. There. Just gonna have to keep mowing them down. Oh right, the fu the funny thing is, yeah like. We're knocking- we're cutting down all- cut, cutting them down to their underpants. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I- I bottled it! Hold on. Heck. Yeah, these guys can be a bit of a pain because they act- because they move like just as quickly as you do. Hello? Oh, that was cool. All right. Uh, here, I uh, here we get it. Uh, we'll get a bit of a breather. Uh, as a note, I, I uh, apples will, will uh, give you some of your health back. Uh, I want this. Uh, I in, I intend to not use save states except for maybe like a certain part that I'm thinking of. But keeping that in mind, I'm probably. Gonna, I'm probably gonna want to, uh... I, I'm probably gonna want to, uh, get a lot of, get a lot of them lives. As, and we gotta look at this, this background. Somebody's shown up. And here we got a mini boss. First one. He's not too hard, although I have... Although I have, I have a few problems with him. I don't know. I just have a, I just have an issue. I'm just gonna wait for him to go, and I am stuck behind him now. Not like anything was wrong with that. Hey, are you ready to go for a ride? Cause we're going for a ride! He does not like this ride, as I've missed horribly. <laughs> I keep like, I keep like missing. Man, like this mini boss isn't too hard, but uh, I have a few problems with him. Just, I don't know, just a few things, a few little quirky things I struggle with. But uh, it, it'll get fun. I mean, we're about to take off. This is another neat thing about this game. It's not all just platforming. We we actually have some shooter sections like, akin to like that are also, that's, that can honestly uh, be like a little akin like Gradius. I mean, not surprising. This was Konami. This was Konami in their prime. Of course, they would make something. They'd make something like Gradius. 
And these sections are very enjoyable. I like them a lot. Of course, that may just be because I like... I like shoot 'em ups even if I suck at them. I mean, even if I suck at them, it doesn't mean I can't have... Can't have... Can't have all of, can't, I can't like them or anything. Yeah, he's down easily. But anyway, we've got a party to crash. Literally, as we crash right through the wall. That's one way to make an entrance. We're cool, man. <laughs> We're cool, man! <laughs> Messes up a simple jump. But let's be honest. If you've known me for this long, you know that's kind of a thing. I stink at simple jumps. I mean, if you just got off watching my most recent Let's Play before this then you would know that very well. Oh, but here, well, here's a fun part. Time to bounce off walls. And time for a not so fun part. Oh dear. Yeah. Shit's blowing up. Uh-huh. This is fun. But yeah, th this can be a little bit, a little bit troublesome. Just, just take your time. One, two, gotta get up here real quick. Alright. And got further very easily. Oh, uh, oh, we, got, we do have gems here. Uh, uh, those are just for points. But as you can see, we can ricochet off the walls, which is just a really cool thing. I was like, th this is like the only game of its kind, honestly. I think it's like one thing I really like about this game, like it's with like the way like the way it does stuff. It's like the only it's like the only thing of its kind. I've never seen a game that let I've never seen a, like a, a platform where it lets you that gives you an, an awesome night with a jetpack bouncing all over a fucking place, like bouncing off walls like a fucking maniac. It's the best thing ever. It does it, it probably helps a lot that the controls are amazing. I am completely in control. And there's another life. This game's pretty generous with those, but... And it also extends for points, so... Yeah, as long as you don't really suck, you shouldn't have too many problems with that. Huh, what's this? HAPPY BIRTHDAY! <laughs> I, that is like one of my favorite things ever. I am just- I'm not kidding. <laughs> the fucking pig in the box! Eh, oh. Oh. Uh. Hey, sir. Um, how you do? Uh, you having a good day? Uh. I, I mean, sure, I, I am. I mean, I mean, the castle's gone to hell, but, um. It's not, not like I'm not having fun. <laughs> yeah, prepare yourself. We're about to fight that guy! This is the first boss fight. He comes... He is... He is going to be attacking through the walls! And this is going to be... This is going to be fun. He's like... Like I'm a... What is he? Like a mechanical, like... Centipede or something? But yeah, you just got to wait for him to come out. And he will, uh... Attack, uh, this part. Uh... I don't know what these things are, but he's going to drop them. They do hurt you. Not too much. But he's got... He's got to... Can't attack him during this part. He's got to avoid these... And he's going. There's gonna be. There's gonna be one he sends out that you have to hit, and that will take everything out. Oh, that can actually hurt you too. Oh, oh he's gonna. Here's gonna pull out his tail. Go to the left first. It'll always go to the right there. The tail always stay out to the right. Then it's always gonna stick out from the left side. So you want to avoid that. Just wait for him to come back out. Just hit him every time he shows up. And you shouldn't have too many problems. There we go. And I'm gonna have a cool pose for good measure. Oh yeah. Um, oh... <laughs> what? Who's this guy? He's kidnapping the princess! It's like, it's like he may be a rocket knight as well. 
And he's gone. And he's got a ship. All right. Oh, damsel distress. I'll get you. Uh, we may have a problem right now, though. Yeah, we've gone to Narnia. So, funny story. After recording, I noticed something was up with the difficulty settings, and I looked it up. I thought I had a beta ROM for it because of the US cutscenes going getter of the Japanese difficulty, but as it turns out, I was actually playing a, on a PAL ROM this whole time, as it has the US cutscenes but keeps the Japanese difficulty settings, and I didn't know this. Uh, in other words, I'm accidentally British. Bollocks. <laughs>